New today, Governor Brad Little says he had some sleepless nights after the murders of four University of Idaho students and as the investigation and search for the killer kicked into high gear. Maddie Mogan, Kaylee Gonsalves, Zana Kernodal and Ethan Chapin were stabbed to death in their home just off the U of I campus in the early morning hours of November 13th. 28 year old Washington State University grad student Brian Koberger faces four counts of first degree murder. His preliminary hearing is scheduled for June 26th. During the taping of this Sunday's viewpoint, I asked Governor Little how involved he's been in the process. Well, close enough that I had some sleepless nights. Uh, we we were uh, in communication with the city, uh, the police department and our state police every day our office was. Uh, obviously, there were things that uh, we were learning uh, that you know were being held a, a pretty tight hold. Uh, but you know when as we've gone past it, uh, I really think the fact that uh, Moscow City Police, when they reached out and asked for our state police to come in, you know, their skill set, their laboratory capacity, uh, that's a, you know, this is absolute tragedy. But that was an example of how I think public safety and law enforcement ought to work in the future. We pray and hope that nothing even remotely close to this ever happens again because you just, you know, the city of Moscow was just overwhelmed. And, you know, there was a lot of national media there doing some, in my mind, shoddy work there, trying to stir things up. And they, uh, they, they got their feet under them, and I was proud of them. And as I said, we sure want justice to get metered out. Have you had an opportunity to talk with the parents? Yes, I did. We, I went up there for the memorial service and had a brief conversation with them. That memorial service, listen to those parents, it was the most selfless, uh, touching uh, comments, things that are important to all of us. You know, that precious time we have with our family and friends, uh, to spend that, I, I could not believe how the, the value and the depth and the sincerity of their comments there, and it was, it was really good for the community. And early on, Governor Little allocated $1 million in state emergency funds to help pay for the costs of the all-encompassing investigation. On Viewpoint, Governor Little also discusses his legislative and budget priorities for this session of the legislature, including public education, property tax relief, public safety, and the fight against the dangerous drug fentanyl. You can watch the full interview Sunday morning at 9, right here on KTVB.